it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. So in here we have these little bags and each one has a set of three products. So they've sort of divided the, the products up into different looks. So there's um, House of Chained Ballerina, House of Dynasty, House of Goddess, House of Metalhead, House of Rockstar, and House of Rose Bitch. We're gonna have a look at what I've got. I bought these myself, I wasn't sent this in PR or anything. This was considerably, well I wouldn't say expensive, it's probably high end, you know, if you went to Sephora and you bought Makeup Forever or Benefit maybe or, you know, like a, a brand from Sephora, you'd probably pay a similar price. But I paid for each of these sets 79 Australian dollars for each set. Depending whether you bought a set or the individual products, the sets come in these sort of plasticky bags. Personally, I find these little bags, they feel a bit cheap. They're plastic, they look like something that you'd pick up at Claire's. <laughs> then there's the... Hold still! It's very difficult to do makeup when you're a bird mother because your birds like to get all up in your face and uh, steal your makeup out of your fingers while you're trying to use it, but I'll do my best. So when you pull open the box you've got the three products. So there's going to be the all over eye shimmer, lip gloss and a lip liner. So I'm going to start off with the eye product and I know that this particular shade, this is Aphrodite, you can also use this as a highlight so I'm going to be doing that today. Here you can have that. So first impressions of the packaging. Personally, I wasn't blown away. When I heard that Lady Gaga was coming out with her own makeup collection, I thought that the packaging would be like, wow, you know, absolutely insane. But it's, I mean, it's just standard black packaging. It doesn't feel luxurious. It doesn't look particularly exciting. It's got a, a pointed lid and you can see through and see the shade. It's interesting, kind of reminds me a little bit of stuff that Huda does, to be honest. Now, I'm excited to feel the texture of this because this is a very unusual product. If you shake it, there's a little ball in there that sort of gets the product activated. It's got like shimmery pearls inside, so you give it a shake and that'll activate it. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on. I feel like in the pictures it looks as though they, they're exclusively using the products that they've already launched. So it would kind of be unfair for me to try and recreate these looks using other products as well. Let's give it a go without eye primer. I'll give it a bit of a wear test and if it starts to sort of crease or anything then I might take it off and do it again. So on my skin tone, this particular colour, Aphrodite, doesn't really show up that well. It's like a, a little bit of a subtle shimmer, like a glossy kind of shimmer. I feel like this is great for inner corner highlight or even face highlight. I'm just going to use a brush and try and buff it out a little bit. It's really nice how it actually blends out with the brush. I wasn't sure if the brush would wipe it off or sort of make it clump up or crease in a funny way, but it's actually looking really, really nice. It's blending it out really easily. So far, that was very easy. It's really, really nice and shimmery. This is definitely more of a, a highlight or like an inner corner kind of thing for me. I don't think that I'd use this all over my lid because it's just not quite visible enough. So in their videos on Instagram, I saw what they did was they dabbed it on and then just used their fingers to wipe it around and give it a bit of a smudgy smudge. So I just put a couple of dots. Wow. Jeez, look at that. Yikes, I think I put on a little bit too much. I look like a blown a raspberry on a unicorn or something like <laughs> Come away with a face full of glitter. It's definitely very very reflective I really like this color especially on my sh my skin tone. It's got this really nice sort of peachy undertone to it It's really really pretty Okay guys, um things didn't quite go as planned. Look who's here. It's Tiasha. Hey I have uh, called upon her today to be my Guinea pig? I'm gonna say guinea pig. Yeah, because, so I, I put the stuff on my eyes, as you saw, and I filmed a little bit more than what you saw just then. Shortly after I put that on, I ended up reacting really, really badly. Uh, I sent Tiasha this video. What did you think when I you saw it? I messaged you and I was like, how'd it go? And you were like, no words, just this video. And you look like someone had just went, into your face. <laughs> Basically exactly what happened. Lady Gaga punched me in the eye socket. Yeah. So um, Tiasha, you're a little bit 
better with uh, products than I am, right? You don't react to anything. I haven't had a reaction before to yeah. anything. So to anything. I've skin of titanium. <laughs> I mean, normally I don't react to things either. I don't understand why I reacted to it. I never react to things either. So hopefully you don't. But anyway, I thought it could be interesting though to have both of us here so you can see how the stuff reacts to different skin tones. Yeah, and it does. We it's swatched nuts. some stuff yeah. and it looks like totally different colors on us. So yeah. It's wild. Particularly, um, was it House of... Oh, the green one. The House, green one. House mm. of Dynasty. Mm. Yeah, so House of Dynasty looked so different on yeah. Tiasha to what it did on me. Yeah. It actually was showing like gold flecks yeah, yeah, yeah. in the it green stunning. compared to on me. It just kind of looked like it didn't even look anywhere near as vibrant on yeah. my skin. I really... Uh, you're good. Are you, are you going to be nice? <laughs> Please be nice. I have nothing shiny on me, so like, except my nose ring. No, so my earrings. <laughs> no. <laughs> have you ever used Stila liquid metals? No, I've never used makeup in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, just take it on the applicator and just close your eye and just wipe it onto your eyelid. Okay. And I'll go get you a brush so we can blend it out a little bit. Have a go. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so different on you. Jeez. So that, yeah? Yeah, it works. Success? Yep. What I'm gonna do is just slightly try and blend it a little bit. It's really weird how this product actually blends out almost like a powder would. I, ex I expected it to kind of go gluggy when I sort of touched it with a brush, but the brush makes it blend out really, really smooth. Let's ha have a look at the camera. I stand by that green's an incredibly hard color to pull off, like for anyone. It's it looks just really good so straight. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, maybe go on the other side. Okay. And then I'll put on the lip. Okay, so this is Rule on me, the lip liner. It's very, very creamy, like ridiculously creamy. That's such a pretty color on you. You like it? Yeah, I think it suits your complexion so much. And it's supposed to go with attitude. Man, I just, I can't believe how well that this blends out. It's, it, I have never seen anything like this, like a liquid that blends like a powder. It's so strange. It's going really patchy. Uh, uh, is it because I'm blinking? No, no, it's got nothing to do with you. You're not doing anything wrong. Mm. It's Lady Gaga's fault. <laughs> I look like a clown. No, that's what Gaga don't. likes though, so that's all right. Look, it's, look at that big patchy spot right there in the center. It's really strange. Uh, it's also creasing up really badly over here. It, open your eyes and then just sort of look around and give yourself a little bit of a blink and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's creasing. Especially over here, close your eye. It's basically like rubbed off in the center where it, it was on really thick and now it's rubbed off. Do we need to wait for it to dry before we open our eyes? No, um, it's it's like dry to the touch oh. at, at this point anyway. Okay, um, did you want to put on this lip? Okay, so this thing? Yep, lip liner first. Okay. Uh, this pencil broke when I first started using it. It just snapped clean off as soon as I touched it to my lip. So you gotta be really, really careful with them. They are a super creamy, creamy formula for the lip liners, but they break so easily, which is terrible because considering I normally don't need to sharpen my lip liners until it's worn down a fair bit. And normally you can get a few wears out of them before mm. it's worn down, yeah. before you need to sharpen it. But if it's snapping every time you use it, yeah. you're like losing that huge amount of product. That's so true, but it feels so good. It's so, like it's so nice. Gee, that color looks so good on you. I love it. Okay, and then on this with attitude, on a top. gloss over the top. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't, I'm not a gloss girl. I'm not either, to be honest. Is I'd... anyone really, like, are they lying to themselves? Thomas Halbert is a gloss girl. <laughs> He's like the glossiest hoe on the planet. <laughs> he literally, <laughs> he just goes on and on and on. <laughs> Every time is he's he an a beauty guru? He, yes. Is he used to sticky things on his mouth? Wow, holy crap. That looks so different on you to me. No, it doesn't. I think, Don't you think? we look like twins. <laughs> I think that really suits you, that color. Thank you. What do we think? <laughs> I want to put like dark, a dark color on your outer corner. There's two black ones. Yeah, right? there's a gray and then yeah. there's a black. Oh, so the ballerina one? Yeah, chained ballerina. So chained ballerina. So let's put this on the outside. Now you've got to be kind of careful with this because it's it's so, so dark and so pigmented. But on me, before I had my terrible reaction earlier, I felt like it was kind of patchy. Like when I was trying to blend it out, it went on as very dark black, but then as you blend, it kind of like blended out into nothingness. So I don't know if it's gonna do that on your skin as well. Okay. Do I look like a child that's put makeup on for the first time? No, no, you look like a chained ballerina. 
that's been chained in a dungeon for a very long time <laughs> and she's got no mirror in that dungeon. <laughs> okay, so the two colors blended together really well, as you can see. It, they, they blended together pretty well. I, I do like that, that the colors, it's not like two separate weird gluey, you know, differences that they blend together like one product, so that's really nice. Gee, that looks really nice. I've definitely ruined it by going down the side a little bit too much. <laughs> this is your go inner goth coming out. Yes. I look like a Tim Burton character, but I like it. <laughs> wow, I really like the lip, actually. Yeah, the lip's beautiful. That's really nice. Okay, so let me grab some wipes, and then okay. let's take that lip off, okay. and then we'll go on with the lip for House of Chained Ballerina. Okay, Okay, which one are we doing now? This one? Okay, yes. So this go. is House of Chained Ballerina. So the lip for House of Chained Ballerina, the lip liner is called On Point. Gee, I love that. I love that on me. That looks so pretty. That looks really good. Wow. That's so nice. It's Your lips so are nice. huge. Girl. Instant Kylie Jenner. On point. <laughs> on point. <laughs> and the lip gloss for this one is called Corset. It's weird to have a light colored lip liner. Oh, maybe that's just for me. Yeah, would you normally go that light? Never. Wow. That's Let's not see. a color I would ever wear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know mm -mm. if I like that on you mm -mm. so much. Wow, I have never seen you wear a nude lip. <laughs> oh my god. I hate it. This is not nude for me. This is only nude for you. <laughs> wow. No. Yeah, no. Absolutely no. Not. It's a big That's a no. Big no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like it on Tiasha? Wow, I can. I am this far away from the camera and I can tell it's horrendous. You, no, we can't win them all. You've won no, this no. round. <laughs> you look incredible. So. I do really like this. Yeah. This is really nice and it's very comfortable on the lip. Yeah, so I'm going to say House of Chained Ballerina. Mm. More of a fair complexion, I would say. I think that's fair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so... I'm just not sure about like all these shades seem really dark, all the eyeshadow one. Yeah, and that's very Gaga though, I would yeah. say. It's super Gaga. Man, I just I can't get over how this blends out. This is absolutely nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a close up at some point and show how it blends out. That's <coughs> okay, so oh my god, it's gone so patchy already. I don't know if you're supposed to use a primer with this or not. Um I did moisturize. <laughs> As easy as the products are to blend out and blend together, yeah. they are creasing so terribly. Yeah. So on Tiasha's right eye, that black color has completely worn away. It's just completely gone. I don't know, it's, it's so weird. Like the color looked really good when it first went on, but it's almost faded into nothingness now. The, <laughs> yeah, the glitter's just moving away. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's so strange. Yeah. You, I think you definitely need a primer of some mm. sort, like a base to lay down. I don't know whether using like a MAC paint pot might help, or like help it to adhere better. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. So next up let's do House of House of Bi Biker? No, I think it's called House of Rock or something. It's not actually called House of Biker, it's called House of <laughs> House of Rock and Roll or something like that. Okay, sick. House of Rock and Roll, or whatever it's called, consists of Blaze lip gloss, Ride lip liner, and biker eyeshadow. Should I remove my eye makeup? Yes. Yes? Yep. Okay, this is going. Bye. Oh, it comes off like, like a dream though. I found that after I had the terrible eye incident and I was trying to remove it, I got glitter all over my face. Oh really? Like absolutely everywhere. Look at this though. Like that, oh, that was wow. after three wipes. It's completely gone. Yeah. Fresh faced and ready to go. Oh. Yep, so pop, pop biker on the outer corners. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the shade Ride Lip Liner on me. I quite like it. It's like a dusty, rosy kind of color. Not really the sort of color I would normally wear, but I feel like I feel like it's gonna get even worse when I put this over the top. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be quite dark. Blaze, okay. It looks really feminine though. That it is a very is, feminine yeah. color. Wow, I like that on you. Do you like it? I really like that on you. Wow. I think it's kind of like very Barbie. Yeah. It yeah. looks like it, when I looked at it, I was like strawberries or Yeah, you know. yeah, strawberries is very mm. juicy. Yes. Mm. Oh, this is another color that's not for me. <laughs> it's not bad actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. I definitely like that more than the other one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, do you want to pop the gloss over the top? Yes. And while you're doing that, I'm going to show everyone how this blends out. Let's come oh. in nice and close to the camera. 
Okay, so this has sort of been sitting on your eye just for like a, a minute mm. while I was adjusting the camera and I'm still able to blend it out. It hasn't sort of set or anything yet. And it's nice because I can get a really nice transition going and sort of fade it over here into nothingness. So that way it's like a nice soft gradient. I definitely like this more than that other dark shade that we used before, the black. This is more of like a gray silver. I feel like you're Shane and I'm Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I probably know just about as much as Shane does. Actually, Shane would know more than me by this point. <laughs> and I just rub things on my face and get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but again, with the patchiness, it's, it's going really patchy just here. I, I feel like, I wonder if it's got something to do with maybe if your skin is dry in certain spots, it doesn't adhere. I'm not sure. Wow, it's so pink on you. <laughs> Gee, I didn't expect it to be like a really pink gloss, but it's super pink. Yeah. Okay, so what colors so are So we're wearing these? the same color right now? Yeah, this is... Blaze for the lip gloss mm -hmm. and Ride for the lip liner. So that's how it looks on both of us. I don't know, I, I do like it on you, but I, nothing can beat that first one on you. That first one was so incredible. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so the next house we're gonna break into mm -hmm. is the house of Rose Bitch, which you. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing you say that, like you're. So, like, the, give it some attitude, you know? Rose Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. She's like, um, House of Rose Bitch. <laughs> like an English grandma. So this is drag. Ooh. Ooh overlined a little bit. Yes, queen. Wow, that's all the color I was expecting from House of Rose Bitch. Yeah. House of like plum. Yeah, plumbed wine. Your favorite. House of mulled wine. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, Archie? That looks lovely on you. Really? Wow, you need to be a bit more experimental, I think. I don't like the formula of this lip liner. Out of all of them so far, this one's quite dry. Do you get that? Uh, yeah, it's less creamy, right? It's less yeah. creamy. It's kind of like catching on the mm -hmm. lip. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the really unusual lip gloss. This is called Entranced. When we swatched this, couldn't even see it at all on me. I'm sure it's going to be different on the lip. Wow, this liner really is odd. Gosh, this is such an unusual color because it's like, it's white and glossy and silvery and sparkly, but it's got like purple iridescent shimmer in it. Okay, so out of all of them, I feel like, <gasps> what? Pretty. Do you like it? Yes. Oh, okay. You look so nice. Wow, I, maybe my eyes don't work. <laughs> like, looking in the mirror, I was like, I don't really notice it. Like it makes your lips look really juicy yeah. and moist. But that's what a gloss is supposed to do, right? It's not supposed to yeah, change like yeah, the color. True. It's supposed to. <laughs> oh, I don't like like how gluey this one is. Like, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow, it looks so good with your hair. It is literally a different color for both of us. It Look is. into the mirror. Wow. Mine's oh. purple and yours is pink. It looks pink. like we use different products. Yeah. We are not wearing the same color right now. I'm so confused. How does that work? I don't know. Because I have. Also, I think because of the color of your hair, it's probably like bringing it out yeah. purple. Yeah. So, Rose Bitch, we're going on the eye with that on you. Okay, this one is unusual to, to me because it goes on as really, really super pink at first, but then when you blend it out, you can't even tell what color it's supposed to be. Or at least that's how I see it. It kind of like blends out into no particular color. It almost goes like gray grayish silver, it doesn't really maintain any of its pinkiness. I know I'm sort of blending it out over the gray color from earlier, but even when I put this straight on myself before, before I had the reaction, it did the same thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty, but you, you look in the mirror and tell me what you think. I think it's really pretty. You like it? Yeah, for me, I'm like, there's a huge difference. Like, it's definitely much pinker than this yeah, side. Yeah, but when it goes on, did you see the color it was when no, it first went no. on? Cause like, look at the color that it swatches. Oh wow! Yeah, right. This is like a pink princess, and that's yeah, it's so different. It's gold. so different. Ah, but I wouldn't be mad with it. Like for something that's called rose bitch, I wouldn't be mad with. Yeah, this. yeah, true. See, it goes on so pink. It looks super, super pink, and then I'll blend it out. Oh. That's oh a lot of trust. Oh my god. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, I actually really like that combo. I really, really like it. That looks so pretty. 
Wow, that looks really nice on you. Thank you. House of Rose Bitch works for both of us in terms of lips and Ooh. eyes definitely suit mm -hmm. you. Uh, as we know, the formula doesn't work so well for me. Yeah. Okay, we're down to the last two now. So we've got House of Aphrodite. Mm. Aphrodite, from earlier when I was actually using it, I, I really liked Aphrodite. Um, I used it as a highlight, which looking back on the footage, it actually just looked like I rolled in glitter. <laughs> Like I was a preschooler that like smothered my face in glue and then dunked my face in a bowl of glitter. That's really what it looked like. Looking at it in the mirror, I couldn't tell that it was that chunky. The glitter was so chunky. All right, so do you want to pop that mm -hmm. all over your lid while I go on with the lip? So the lip from this collection, this is Myth, which is as some MAC fans might remember, Myth is also the name of a nude lipstick from MAC. This is so creamy. Wow, gosh. Is it, is it right? <laughs> it looks really different on you to how it looked on me. Wow, I love this one. That's so pretty. It's pretty, right? Hang on, let me zoom you in. Okay, let's give it a little bit of a blend. So this one blends like a dream. Like it just sort of fluffs out into pure glitter. Okay, so if you slowly turn your head from one side to the other, people can see how it kind of like reflects on you. Okay, and then pop on the lip. And then the lip gloss that goes with this set is called Venus. Gee, I like that on you. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so nice. This is probably my favorite lip, I would say. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Don't like it? I don't like that it, the gloss lightened it. Yeah, it lightened it significantly. Yeah. Excuse me. Sir. So we're wearing the same color again. How do we look? Oh. Wow, it's so, it looks so much darker on me than oh it looks on you. God. It is literally like it's not the same product. That's so interesting, because normally it's the other way around, like it always looks darker on that's, me. But... That's crazy. And wow. look how much like more reds are in yours and mine are... It looks really wow. red. It looks like a very deep... Oh, wow. That's so strange. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute though. <laughs> I would say this one's my favorite one yeah. so far, in yeah. terms of what it feels like. It's weird mm. how they, they, they're different, like between the lip glosses and yeah. the lip um, pencils, mm. they feel different, like they're all different formulas, so unusual. The last house. So House of Rockstar is Scream for the lip gloss, Slayer for the lip liner, and Legend for the eyeshadow. Can mm -hmm. you take the eyes off while I'm putting yes. on the... Yes, that is the lip product that I've got to use. May you I... read Mum's Mind. May I have it? No. Okay, Slayer. Great band. Oh boy. Oh, it's so purple. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that is dark. Bring back Metal Alex. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I don't hate it. It you looks lovely, it? yeah. Okay. It's very much a night out though, like you gotta dress oh, up yeah. like that one. Very vampy. Yeah. And then going over the top with the shade Scream, this is gonna oh, be so intense. Wow. Ready? <gasps> oh, it's so dark. Oh my god. That is just a dark red. It was purple. Hmm. Yeah, it was it's purple in the tube and on the applicator it's super super purple, but it's like a, a very dark red. Hmm. I'm so excited to see this oh one here. Oh my you. god, let's see. Oh, this is the best one. It's so soft. Wow, this looks so much redder on me than it all did on you. More red? Yeah. Let's see. Good. It's oh dark my god. Red already. Wow. Isn't that bizarre? Okay, here we go. See you on the other side. <laughs> oh my god. Look at me. It's Whoa! so dark. It's so red. Wow. I look like an emo. Kid, non-conforming as can be. You look <laughs> non-conforming too. You look just like, like me. me. Same color. I would say think... same color. It looks, yeah, it definitely looks similar. Mm, mm. There's yeah. no like, yeah. For me, it's just I feel like the purple's almost reflecting my hair, but yeah, it's not. Hmm. Mm. Okay, and then the the eyeshadow that this one goes with mm. is Legend. Mm -hmm. Let's pop this. I'm gonna put this both basically. Oh, so something that I wanted to tell you guys was. For some weird reason, this one exploded all over the place, uh, and the green one did the same thing. <laughs> so this one is unusual because the others are, are very highly pigmented, but this one, the shimmer is kind of like spread out. It's way more liquidy than the others. This is the most liquidy of all of them. Man, I'm doing this so terribly. I'm so sorry, Tiasha. Just uh, you just like fluff it. 
and it just flaps really nicely. Like a meringue. Okay. Do I hear Archie approaching? <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how these beauty gurus do it. Can you imagine sitting in a chair with like Kim Kardashian opposite you and you're doing her makeup? And imagine <laughs> one for, false move. One false move and yeah. that's your career <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> wow. Do you want to give it a go? It is so golden, huh? Do you want to put it on your right eye and okay. then try and blend it yourself? I okay. can see how you go. Oh, we're playing with fire today. Oh dear. What have you got, IT? Oh, good lord. My whole body's covered in goosebumps right now. <laughs> He's like, you realize if I drop this lid, I'm going for your ear. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you wiping away my tears because Archie's on my back? Because <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> You went very lightly, yes. much, but actually I like the way you did it more than the way I did it. The way I did it was really, really clumpy. The way you did it is really like soft and gentle. Mm. Man, your eye, the eye you did looks so much better. <laughs> oh my God, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Let's put a little bit more gold. Can you put a bit yeah. more gold on your right eye? Yeah. Just to sort of bring it to the lower standard that I oh, set. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? These eyeshadows are very party-ish. Yes. That's the way I see it. I don't see this collection as something that you buy to like take with you on a holiday no. and use your makeup or for every day kind of thing. This is really like party. Like if I guess that goes with like a glitter thing, yeah. right? Like you wouldn't yeah. like, you know. Yeah, so that's super intense. I really like that pair with that lip. That lip is everything on you. Thank you. As you can see, it's really, really intense. Like it's so <laughs> sparkly, so like over the top. Uh -huh, like disco. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna leave it there, guys. Um, I think uh, my main sort of takeaway is, so I'm gonna flick back to some footage that I took the other day before my eyes started to puff up. The green was terrible. It went so creasy, and when I tried to layer the gold over the top of it, the green literally disappeared. The gold like wiped the green away. It was really weird. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not gonna really be able to play around with these. I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try. I know yeah. I'm gonna kind of like react a little bit, but maybe if I put down a base first, and then put the glitter stuff on top of the base. I probably, I hope that I won't have that sort of reaction, but for the uh, purpose of getting the video out as soon as possible, while <laughs> House Laboratories is still trending, I hope that you found this interesting. If you liked seeing the makeup on both skin tones, let us know, because Tiasha's hanging out with me all the time, so we can always swatch stuff and yeah. see how things, I just, I never realized just how different. I know. I had no idea. Yeah, my skin Less. just like shows. Yeah. It just like shows straight through the, the color. I think the lips are absolutely, Amazing. The lip liners mm. are a dream. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> I bought every single Jeffree Star lip liner. I have every single color that he launched. I love these so much better than any of his. These are such a dream to apply. They're super, super creamy. They're really luxurious. I really like that you can put it on the outside yeah. and then rub your lips together and it coats yes, your lips. because it's so creamy. It's, it's so like, creamy, yes, yes, yes. yeah. And what I like about these is, despite the eye shadows being so sparkly and like night timey, I feel like a lot of the lips were a daytime one. Yeah, for sure. You can wear those during the day, yeah. for sure. And you can wear the glosses without the lip liners. Mm. And also you can mix and match, you know, like you don't just have to stick within the House of Dynasty mm. lip, you know, set. And you don't have to only use the colors that they recommend. You can mix and match them and play around with them. But in terms of like, with gloss, you do mm. tend to like just keep reapplying in any yeah. way. Gloss isn't really meant to be a long wearing kind of thing, mm. but it, it helps if, it, if the color stays. Yes. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Tiasha's channel is The Marshmallow Girls. I'll put their link in the description if you wanna go subscribe to them as well. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it's pretty pastel please. Tiasha is Marshmallow Girls. Archie is Archie Eclectus. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!